Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update on Tuesday, May 15th, 12.07 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You're looking at Mount Shinmodake erupting in spectacular fashion just hours ago, sending ash and gases high up into the atmosphere, over 15,000 feet. This is a very violent eruption. The second one since the last in March in many years. And as the cosmic rays increase on Earth, these volcanic eruptions are going to continue in force as the periodicities of these eruptions increase the global cooling will rapidly, rapidly decrease. Now, the mainstream media has probably not picked up on this at all and is not going to tell you about it because they have the mild Kilauea volcano erupting currently that everyone is focused on. But I assure you, this is way more significant than anything happening at Kilauea currently. It, Kilauea is a campfire compared to this eruption. We'll be back to it. Let's get on with the update. Thunderstorm warnings issued for Osage County. Golf ball size hail and 70 mile per hour winds possible tonight. Heads up. This is you in Oklahoma, Tulsa area, Fort Smith, Tulsa, Bartlettsville has the highest risk. And we're going to go on 80 reports of hail in the last. 18 hours. There was so much hail in the pinery. Crews needed to plow the roads because their trucks got stuck. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Now, this is Colorado Front Range where all the GMOs are and that is not snow, folks. This is today and that's hail. And we're parsing. Holy hail. That is hail, folks. So I'll leave you links to this, and let's get on with the other hail reports. Thunderstorm unleashes hail along the front range. Accumulations look like spring snow. That's not all that happened. Thunderstorms unleash hail Monday afternoon across northeast Colorado, including parts of Douglas County, where residents needed snow shovels <laughs> to clean up. Southwest cancels flights after hail damage more than a dozen planes at Denver International Airport. This is where the gateways to the Illuminati hell are. Chicago weather, second round of storm brings hail, downpours, and damage. A second round of strong spring storms moved across the Chicago area, unleashing sudden downpours and hail, especially in the western suburbs. Holy hell. That Kansas City storms produce large hail, rain, and tornado threats. Over 30 tornadoes spotted today. Strong storms, hail, hit D.C. area. This is straight across the country. Severe thunderstorms barrel through the D.C. area Monday evening, bringing strong winds, heavy rains, and the threat of a derecho. <laughs> what in God's name? Then there was a rainbow. Ice Age 2050, my partner in crime sent me pictures. They were It was only dime size, but it was hell. Let's look at the GFS model. We're seeing snows in the Rockies. Yes. We're going to see some moderate snow here. It looks like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday in the Rockies. Snow. Sierras as well. Eastern Canada. Heads up, it's the end of May. Let's look at the 16-day total forecast precipitation from NOAA. One to two feet of snow <laughs> showing up here near Florida. So watch it, folks. If you live in that region, specifically the east coast of Florida, heads up for a deluge. I'm going to throw out a St. Augustine. Heads up. Check out four corners here. We are in the bullseye of the drought. Whew. It is dry. I would hate to be in Death Valley without a bottle of water. And that's a boom. First boom of the night, and that is not the boom. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's a boom. 
Weather update, how cold is South Africa going to get this week? Minus 3C or colder. Blankets out, heaters on. There's no more global warming in Australia in the south. The latest weather update shows a bitter cold front sweeping across South Africa this week, strongly affecting large parts of the country. By now, you've probably noticed this summer has packed its bags and left. SA has needed some chill for a while, so this can only be a good thing. So... South African Weather Service says eastern parts northwest. Rainy weather has already made its way to Gutenberg. Heads up. Minus one in Berkeley East. Now the Western Cape won't see much of this cold front. More rural regions preparing for the freezing. Looks like north of Port Elizabeth could be as cold as minus five here in Masaru. West of Pites of Matzeburg. Now they're calling it a cutoff low pressure system. <laughs> that's called uh, obfuscating from the truth. We're calling it the modern eddy minimum as the entire planet cools off. Cosmic rays increase and change the world that you know it. Have you noticed all the supposed chemtrails in the sky? Those are long-lasting contrails behind normal commercial flights because of the cloud nucleation happening in the middle atmosphere. This was proven by scientific researchers at CERN and Svensmark. Please do your own homework. Global, global warming is a scam. Extreme weather in India has killed over 70 people in a day. Extreme weather once again wreaking havoc across India on May 13th. Over 70 people were reportedly killed as heavy thunderstorms and dust storms struck Uttar Pradesh. We keep reporting on this area. There's hail, there's dust. Now thunderstorms left more hail and at least 51 people dead. Lightning killed 12. At least two lost their lives in Delhi where a dust storm accompanied by heavy rains and 109 po Kilometer per hour winds uprooted nearly 200 trees and brought traffic to a standstill. That sounds biblical, folks. My goodness. 19 lava outbreaks, a jungle ablaze, and Hawaii volcano still poised to explode. The uptick on Fisher 17 and 18 is insane. Over the last 24 hours, it has not subsided. A new fissure in Hawaii's Pune district sent gases and lava exploding into the air. The explosions are continuous and loud. I would implore you to come over here to the only live stream still up. There was a bunch of nonsense that went up yesterday went on yesterday and copyright strikes abounded and all of the live streams were taken down this is censorship occurring you're not able to see this eruption in live time they're making it difficult but akbar yaha has the volcano yt stream back up and i'll leave you links to that if you were unable to find it fisher 18 is extremely loud continuously exploding and ejecting lava tens of meters into the air, as well as pyroclastic bombs out of this fissure. It's literally like cannons going off. So this is another really good live stream here, and it's obviously down. You can see the seismic activity is regular and, and the three magnitude range. This is ongoing. There's nothing else we can say about this eruption. We're waiting on the lava lake to fall down below a critical level to force a major phreatic eruption out of the main caldera. Now, Pahoa, Hawaii, frustration, anxiety, and unpredictable 2,000 degree lava are taking their toll on volcano evacuees at Hawaii's Big Island while they await the imminent eruption that could rain car-sized boulders and ash into the tropical paradise. 2,000 people have been barred from their homes. We've been barred from reading this by USA. Oh, we're back. 10 days in Kilauea, a volcano pours lava through the neighborhood 35 miles from Hilo. 36 structures have been destroyed. 37th confirmed just hours ago as new flows come out of Fisher 17 and 18, including 26 homes. Now, plumes of poisonous gas are moving off, thankfully, to the south and to the west so that we can get footage like this live. No, not like that. More like this. Yes. They're about to get that second live stream up. This is a continuous rift eruption that we're monitoring closely because any change in activity down low could potentially be a change in activity up high.
Now the volcano itself appears ready to explode, although the damage is expected to radiate only 12 miles from the crater, which is going to be moderate loss of structures and probably no loss of life, which is why the Hawaii officials are imploring people to keep coming to the island and come watch this amazing thing, which I only slightly agree with because the unpredictable nature of volcanoes. Now let's look at astonish some astonishing drone footage coming out from ABC, of all places. Where did it go? Oh gosh, all this parsing. Let's try to get to something. We're gonna miss that drone footage. I'll leave you links to it down below. It's worth a look. It shows miles and miles of lava flow, completely destroying homes and houses. Let's talk about the Kyushu volcano erupting again. You saw the footage here at the opening. Might as well run it through one more time. It is amazing. You can just see the power and the height on this eruption. Just the, sh the sheer volume of <laughs> gas and CO2. I hope they're taxing this mountain. Look at the volume of ash and gas emanating from this eruption. Now, clearly this is in... Sped up slightly. But it is just pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping. That is because of the cosmic ray flux heating the muons in the subsurface. The siliceous rich magma is now pushing out all the gases and that magma is coming to the surface, which could mean now that we're at about a 50% chance of an eminent large eruption. Now, if you look at the large round opening on the top of this mountain here, notice that steam is only, only emanating from a tiny little fissure here. Granite is a thousand times bigger than any fissure in Kilauea, but the actual eruption will occur when this area that I'm circling here explodes off and into the sky, which will be VEI 5 to 7. If Shimodake blows up, it is going to cool the planet instantly within 24 hours. Not that this isn't causing cooling. Can you see this mile-long... <laughs> Tens of mile long trail of clouds that are now cooling the planet below it right here. This area is cold and it is moving. Now, here's a close up of that vent. It's just a fissure, a crack. Now, if this really erupts, this entire rim crater is going to blow into the sky. Notice how flat this volcano is because it's very violent, very silicious. And when it goes, it blows. So that's a heads up. Anyone in this region? <laughs> I would move if I were you. Let's see if we've got anything parsed up here. It's not just Hawaii. The U.S. has 169 volcanoes that could and will erupt. At least six to eight are predicted to erupt in the next decade in the Cascade region. That's Washington State and Oregon, potentially even Northern California. I also think there may be a minor to moderate eruption at the geysers in California, as well as a geothermal event in Yellowstone. Not a Yellowstone major eruption, but a hydrothermal eruption in Yellowstone, as well as a hydrothermal and magmatic eruption in the geysers. This is based on historical documentation and recent uptick in those areas. Now, volcanoes are full of tricks, but we can use the past to predict the future. And that's what we're doing here. I'll leave you links to all this. This video is going way too long. Volcanoes, geysers, earthquakes. Mother Earth sure seems angry right now. Absolutely she does. But it's predicted and we're explaining it. So there's no need to be scared. Now is the time to prepare. Like they say, when it rains, it pours. And erupts and flows and shakes and swelters and blows and hails. And Al, I thought you said it was going to stop snowing. Now the Kyushu volcano erupted again. Warning issued for falling rocks as smoke billows from the eruption of Mount Shimodake on May 14th in the southern Kyushu prefecture. 
sending smoke and ash as high as 4,500 meters from the crater. The Japanese meteorological agency Fukuoma Regional Headquarters said it was the first eruption of the volcano which straddles Mizaki and Kagoshima prefectures since April 6th. The JMA has maintained the alert level at 3, meaning people should stay away from the 1,400 meter mountain and remain cautious of falling large rocks. No skiing is allowed within a three kilometer radius of the crater because your skin may fall from your flesh. <laughs> the flesh may fall from your bones. <laughs> Worldwide Volcano News Update. Sabankaya, irregular emissions. Reventador, Kirishima. We have Kilauea ongoing, as well as Karaminsk, Kluchaskyov. <laughs> These are in the Kamchatka Peninsula. And we watch Shinmodake erupt in spectacular fashion. Seismic update. 5.0 in Miyaku, Japan, in the last six hours. No other quakes of note except a stacked group of thousands in the Hawaiian Islands. Some frack quakes that make me vomit. 3.1 in Lincoln, Montana, part of the Yellowstone Caldera uptick. And we're going to be watching this. Now, guys, there is an uptick out here in Madagascar at Palms de Mayotte, now up to 5.1 magnitude at that super volcano in that region. <laughs> and that's a heads up because we know what happens when cosmic ray flux heats the muons in the subsurface. Hundreds of volcanoes erupt worldwide in the next decade, which quickly, rapidly cool the planet. And only the large VEI 5 and 7 are ever noted in historical documents. If all of the volcanoes were noted, every single human in the world right now watching this video would be shaking their pants because that is your future. Oh, another 3.6 in Hawaii just moments ago, and it was above the surface. I wonder if that's an eruption. Oh, yeah, it is. There it was. Boom. And there we are. She's back, and she's violent, and she's blowing up. So come over here. I'll leave you links, and you can see Mother Nature's fireworks blowing off live in the southeastern flank of Kilauea on the big island as Pele apparently has gas. So, come give them support there. They're trying to make it very difficult for us to see what's actually happening. I'll leave you links to earthquakes on the Mississippi, the New Madrid seismic zone. What happened on December 3rd, 1990, as everyone was very scared, a day of anxiety for America prediction was made by a consultant at Ivan Browning, held to be a 50% chance of a magnitude seven or greater happening. Right now, there is a 65% chance of a 7 or greater happening in the next decade. Commentary, climate scare, climate care, a matter of true concern. Thank you, Winchester Star, because global warming is approaching. This is an excellent, concise op-ed on why global warming is nonsense and global cooling is the truth. It just breaks down the historical information and the failures of all the climate models. None of the catastrophic predictions of doom have occurred in the last 30 years, according to global warming. Sophisticated climate model predictions are all wrong and some up to 500% off. Climate sensitivity to CO2 is zero. Water vapor accounts for 95% of all global warming activity and no one cares about it. And when there's increased cloud nucleation, it causes cooling, not warming. Consensus climate scientists through the IPCC are totally full of shite. It is difficult to get a consensus climate scientist to understand something when his funding depends on his not understanding it. <laughs> Have you gotten that? It's 30 years of not, no science, billions of dollars wasted. NOAA has manipulated past and present temperature records to create temperature curves conforming to global warming. Because it is a lie. Increased CO2 has resulted in absolutely no temperature change over the last 30 years. In fact, we're only 0 .0, 0 0.2 degrees C above baseline since 1979. Whew. <laughs> 
Man, space casting. Could America's first trillion dollar disaster come from outer space? This is coming from ABC, folks. We've been warning about the kill shot. It is coming. It's coming in the next two years. And this is a shot that will fry the grid. This is the primer to explain to the masses on what happens when you get shot back to the Stone Age and you have to eat your neighbor. <laughs> Thank you, ABC. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Volcanoes are exploding. The science is in. Empires fail every thousand years. You are here. The empire fails in about three years based on historical information. If you're not buying supplies, you're not buying time. You're buying misery. There is a way to survive and thrive in the future. That is to heed the warning. Take all of your extra money and start buying dry goods. Start buying things that you may need if there is no more electricity flowing out of that socket ever. You need books to read on how to survive and thrive in the future. You need lighters. You need dry goods. You need guns and bullets. You need to start learning now. There's community. There is so much information, but soon... This entire World Wide Web is going to come to an end and it is you do not have much time. Fear is not an option. Fear is a liar. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the future we're headed on into. You better start to learn how to grow food. Be safe, everybody.